Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for joining in. This is MB. Today let's talk about um, how do you manage resources and uh, do context management in Python and first of all what they are, right? So let's um, talk with an example. Let me go ahead and create a new file here dot maker dot pi. It's going to make something. I just want to create some files for us. So um, let's do this. I want to take because if you want code for this particular session please go to my github page uh, you can download all the codes you can just run the code while I'm explaining uh, explaining the code that I'm executing here so file equals let's say I have created a variable here um, the variable points to a text file which is going to be created here f equals open uh, then file so i want to open this file in write mode w for write f dot write hello and then new line then i want to close it so i will run this control b in atom okay it created a file and hit wrote wn let me press control b again 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 and see what happens but as you can see it wrote only once so what happens is when you use w it automatically writes every time that means it overwrites every time so there are uh, different modes so these are the different modes that you have in python w for write r for read mode a for append mode w plus create file if it doesn't exist and open it in write mode r plus uh, special read and write mode you want to read and write at the same time then you use r plus a plus is what we are interested in right now that is create file if it doesn't exist and open it in append mode right so if you write something you add a line and you want to keep on adding it instead of overriding you use a or a plus uh, so let's have a look at that let's say file equals i want to say two file dot txt and f is open file w plus yeah that is create file if it doesn't exist and open it in write mode and I'm going to do it right again I will say hello backslash in as a new line f dot close yep control B so I got second file created here then let me comment it out control forward slash and add him then what if I want to uh, okay so this is for you keep overriding the same file right uh, now let's say you want to append uh, to a particular file so how uh, do you do that so let me do that here file hmm. let's take this now control copy this paste it and I want to comment this out. I will say three file, okay. And I will do a plus. Let's do a plus directly, right? If the file doesn't exist, I want it to create and append to it. Then if dot write, it will close the file. Control B. So got created. You got hello here, and I will press Control B B B B B okay, three four times. Let me see what happened. So as you can see, it keeps adding, keeps appending. Now what, okay, so you wrote now, uh, you want to read stuff, you want to read everything, then how do you do that? As we saw here, we have R plus, R just R. Okay, so let me go ahead and do that F equals, okay, let's say first, file yep then I want to do f equals open open what file in read mode then I want to do print f dot read yep so let's see what happens I will comment this out for now control V what happened so it's printing this here 
Okay, so uh, if it's not doing it in your editor, if you're using a different editor, then you know how to execute it. Uh, if you are, if you don't know how to do this and you know, run files within Atom, then check out my how to set up Atom video or article on my site, on my site cloudishes.com. So printf dot read. Now let's say you want to do something else. Choose how much. Uh, to read, you don't want to read everything, right? So choose how much to read. Yeah, so let's uh, say this same again. Let me take this file. I will do f equals open file r, then I will do data equals f dot read to, yeah, that is first to characters only then print data then I want to add some dummy lines here just to differentiate with the next statement print f dot read 5 next 5 characters only backslash n is also a character that is new line right then I want to say print data yeah control B so he then the new line L L O H H E right so here it reads um, two lines and it prints that out here then you have this next line then you have read five L L O H H E finished but as you can see here uh, I am printing this data twice hmm so it might cause a confusion let me just do this yeah print let me shorten it all right it looks much neater here we go H E uh, this new line and the next five characters L one two three L L O is three and then the forward slash and that is new line is fourth character fifth character is H that is the next line so let me comment this out let me show you what is next next is what if you want to do read line by line yeah so let's take another one here file for file um, for file dot txt I want to open it f open file in a plus that is append mode f dot write what I, what do I want to write let me Okay, so line one, new line, line two, new line, line three, new line, line four, new line, line five, new line. Now I want to do F dot close. Yeah, control S, control B. What happened? It created four or five. Yeah, so line one, line two, line three, line four, line five. So we got four, five lines there. What do I want to do? Um, uh, read line by line, right? That's what I wanted to show you. So comment this stuff out then uh, probably it's okay right and then here I'll show you how to read file in R mode that is read mode print f dot read lines yeah I want to close the file after a reading okay so line one line two line three line four as you can see it returns a list of lines so what are the other things that you can do then right so if you do f dot this okay let me if you are assuming that you have an editor and it shows auto completion f dot c l o close r f dot r so it shows all the other things that you can do with it function read readable read line read lines so it's one line it returns all the lines right so I 
highly encourage you to explore all of them and see what they can do for you and how they can serve you. Uh, how do you loop through the lines? So very easy file is I want to do let's read the lines here then we have f equals open file in r more that is read more for line in f dot read lines yeah print line After I close. Okay, so here we go. You're reading, you're looping through all the lines. Uh, this one, after I read lines, what it does is it gets a list of all the lines and you're looping through them. So this is how you can do that. Then let's check out the width statement. Most of the times, this is what you want to do. What is a width statement? Width statement will take care of closing files, you know, opening, um, lock, unlocking the file, etc. So you don't have to worry about that width. Open file R plus as F. You can call anything as something, whatever, as your name. F dot write something backslash N print F dot read, yeah. Print F dot closed. So I want to see whether it's closed or not. Then I want to say here print F dot closed. Okay, so Boolean is not callable. So let's run this and see what happens here. Okay, so with open file F dot write, it writes something and then it reads uh, F dot read. Uh, whether it's closed, false, that is within the with statement, it is always open, but as soon as you come out of the with statement, it is closed. R plus, as, as I told you, it's special read and uh, write mode. Okay, so that is uh, what we have. What else did I miss? Let me see. Okay, with statement is done then. Uh, let's talk about context managers. This is how you, uh, context managers allow you to lock and unlock resources like a file, database connection, etc. This is mostly implemented as a class. Let me uh, give you a uh, bare bone structure for uh, class here. Let's say class resource object and define in it self pass then define enter self pass yep then you have define exit self Pass. Oh, okay, spelling mistake here. Exit. Here we go. All right, so what it does, this one opens a file and this one closes the file. So this is a bare bone structure. So the goal is to make sure the file is closed once the task is done. And the same can be done easily with uh, with statement as I showed earlier. But for uh, whatever reason, you want to include some error handling, your own custom tasks. If something fails or something succeeds, then you go ahead and use this, right? So let me, let's go ahead and uh, have a look at one example. We will take the fourth file. File 404 is one what we have created. This is the context what we have. So um, with open file, uh, w plus as 
f, f dot closed. So if I run, okay, if I control B, so it says here print, it's not closed. It writes I rule, uh, it checks whether it's closed. Of course, it says false again, but at the end it says true, right? As you can see, it just wrote I rule. W plus, it created a new new file. It overwrites the old file because I am using W plus. W plus is always writes, not append. So if I had use A, if I let's say use A now, what happens is now if I open I rule, I rule, right? Let me add new line. So run it again. Okay. Let me close this. Hmm. Okay, so new line. There you go. It keeps on adding new line every time I run. Pant. Right, so now let's um, look at context manager as a class, right? Here is you want to use uh, context manager maybe to generate some data or you have a, a file which contains let's say a lot of usernames and you want to yield one at a time you can use them you know, for that purpose so this is a typical uh, class I have my file uh, this is just a class name I'm passing an object uh, this is a constructor this is a file name and method that is file name is whatever file that I want to use method is what mode do I want to use do I want to use a plus w plus r plus whatever right so then enter and exit so enter is self.f um, it opens this file uh, when this method and then exit is closes the file right so that is a class now let's go ahead and perform uh, some function with that let's uh, take a new file file is you have okay I have I okay so only this is gonna run let me comment this out now here file is file file.txt with my file open as file uh, you open this file in w plus mode as pi file then you write hey to that and then I want to do I want to check whether that's closed or not, right? Control B. Okay, it says true. Um, file, hey. But in this context management, uh, my own context management, as you can see, I've added some extra stuff here, return true, and that is also you know, being printed here. Uh, if I add something, return true, and then R, let me something, uh, say closing file, mate. All right, so let me do it now. Control B, closing file, mate. All right, so you can, or I can also do print I'm opening the file to do stuff. Yeah, Control B, opening the file to do stuff. So it did some stuff that is, it wrote something, and then closing file, mate, and true. Right, so you want to insert your custom stuff into uh, the width statement so you write your own class like this and implement so then there is um, what if there is a problem right uh, if there is a problem with this process and the type value and traceback of the error are uh, passed down to you uh, as you can see I have put value and traceback so let's have a look at that right so I want to take oh, should I show? okay so let's try to open a file which is not there unknown file so there's no file but I still want to do something with it but before that let me comment this stuff out so that I won't be running that okay so this is the class file that I'm using uh, context here with the with statement I'm passing down this file uh, unknown file a non-existing file let me do this it's a okay it gives me name unknown file is not defined right it gives me that uh, value error which I have defined type value and 
trace pack, I don't know, all that stuff. So then let's move on to the uh, context manager as a generator, which talked about earlier. So from context lib, which is an inbuilt module in Python, import context manager. And let's uh, look at a bare bone context manager function here. Here we go. Okay, so here I'm defining a function. Uh, function name is my file and it takes uh, an object called name. Uh, I'm using try finally here. Uh, try, it tries to open uh, the file with this particular given name, name in write plus mode. And it yields the file f acts as a generator instead of you know, acting as a normal function. And then finally at the end it closes it. So here file name, what I'm giving is this file name with this two lines here. Uh, with my file, file name as f, f dot write, hey. And then print f dot closed. To ch I'm just checking whether it's closed, right? So let's see what happens, true. So it is closed, but did it write, hey, yes it did. But what if I want to do in append mode, A plus mode, yeah? So let's see, let's have a look at that. It says true again. Okay, hey, hey, hey. I want to add mm, new line. So I ran it multiple times. Hey, 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 right? So that works. Uh, there's another way uh, you can do this that is from a threading module you can import the lock method and use that so let me do this okay from threading import lock then I'm calling uppercase lock method as just lock here so let me show you a function which will have this okay so def here I have defined a function to define do stuff so it just does some stuff what does it do it says lock dot acquire so it acquires lock on a particular file and then it just raises an exception saying oh okay I got an error and then then it releases a lock instead of raising an exception what you can do here is inside here you can do some stuff you acquired lock you want to read something write something update to a database or some text file you do all that good stuff and then you release the lock right so this is the entire function now what I want to do so try so I try do stuff so is try running this function except you get an error there you print that error and after that you again lock dot acquire print got here so see uh, so let's run this and see how long uh, or how much of the code will be run so this is our code so 138 to 151 control D got an error got an error hmm so let me run that again for you control b got an error so here i'm raising an exception so that is why uh what as soon as it saw an exception error it printed that exception and it ended there it never reached here right so let's modify that behavior and uh, see whether we can proceed beyond that yeah here we go so i'm using with here with lock that is okay lock equals lock correct so with lock so that means when the lock is true uh, you raise this exception then now the same function right try running this function do stuff except when you got uh, an exception you go ahead and just print that out don't run this function just uh, print that exception if you got an exception then after all that i'm trying to acquire the log and then printing something got here control b okay got an error and got here so it is printing that exception and it's proceeding further so this is how you kind of manage resources and context management uh, I know a, a last bit uh, that is context lib and threading 
this might be a bit confusing to you but yes, to start off with I highly encourage you to practice this W R A W plus R plus A plus and with statement we can stop there itself um, and that is uh, sufficient for to do most of the stuff so thank you for tuning in and you have a great one take care